up guys? Uh, today we're here at Compass and we're going to be lifting this shack. I believe it's around 90,000 pounds, so it's going to be a tandem lift between our 130 ton and 90 ton. We're just getting situated here and we'll catch you in the next clip. So we got Dan in a good spot. Ike's just getting more comfortable, getting a little closer to it. I think Dan, our 130 ton, is gonna be getting the majority of the weight because our heavy side is on Dan's side. Action, take one. So anytime you're uh, doing a tandem lift with uh, two cranes, you are deemed a critical lift. So you gotta fill out your critical lift form. This form just goes over what you're doing, uh, who's responsible, who's uh, coordinating the lift. Uh, it has your operators in charge and kind of just how you're gonna do the operation. And it's very well, very well written and it's very straight to the point. Uh, so we just, Dan just picked up his counterweight, grabbed his slings, we're gonna swing over here and grab a spreader bar, spread it to 14 feet, and uh, we'll get rolling. 14. Yeah. The measurement came in at 13 and a half. Uh, so for obvious reasons, uh, we needed the spreader bar for our 130 today because we got a big radiator here. But for our other side, I think they're just looking for uh, their distance is five and a half feet, so they do not need a spreader bar. But Dan's nice and ready, so we'll go take a look and see what our 90 ton's doing. If we have to, we'll just pump it ahead, inch it ahead a little bit if we have to. I don't think we will, but. Okay. Do you guys say, is this your marker here? Or is nope. that just fucking had, <laughs> that's, that's not me. Uh, truck driver was just uh, informing us of how he wants it laid on his trailers. We'll both be calling it because. About this side once you're getting him off the other side. Yeah. I'll probably be on this side too. But we'll, we'll have to shove the load that way too because I'm a little bit. I, don't, I want to clear the booster under your crane so I, so I was that way a little bit. Of course, yeah. So we'll just have to shoot the load over a little bit when we mm -hmm. go to save it. Okay. A bit of a bit of a night, a bit of a the booster turns a little bit on the center pin when it's locked, like it's kicked that way a little. So I didn't want to get too close yeah. to the chitum on your on your crane, so I just stayed over a little bit. That's perfect. Yeah, but we'll shoot her over for you. I think you got you got more than enough crane, we can stick it that way a little bit. <laughs> just a little though. Just a little. Just a little bit, right? There's little room for We are starting to lift. So we all just had a little meeting. Uh, we're all on the same page. We all got a little plan going and uh, we're gonna follow it and stick to it and get this done. Easy breezy. Cover girl. Clear on that side? Yeah. Hey, I'll get you both coming down on line. 
first Dan, Dan coming down. Good pace. Yeah, looking good, coming down. Good pace, coming down. Three more inches. Two. All right, as you saw, it was a very uh, well constructed lift there. Everyone followed procedure. Uh, we just landed it on the trailer, took all the weight off the cranes, and he's just airing up his trailer to see if we may need to make some small adjustments. But otherwise, everything went according to plan and just another day in the office.